Hello, and welcome back to part four of Cloud Computing eLearning course by Simply Learn. I hope you had a chance to go through the third part, which was titled as Implement. If not, I would advise you to go through the same, as you would require the knowledge of Amazon Web Services, which is discussed in this part. This part is titled as Practice. We will go through the two exercises which will use Amazon Web Services to solve real-world business problems. The practice part of the Day 2 session covers two different cloud computing use cases as hands-on exercises. We'll first go through Use Case 1, where we attempt to set up a static website on Amazon Web Services. The second use case will involve setting up a highly available web application. Both of the use cases take advantage of the powerful Amazon Web Services and the cloud infrastructure it provides. Let us start with the first use case. To set up a static website on Amazon Web Services, there are six steps to be followed. The first step requires us to create an S3 bucket. We will follow it up with creating a simple website with one HTML file and an embedded image. Next, we need to upload the HTML file and the image to the S3 bucket. Once the files are uploaded, we will have to set public access to the HTML file and the image. We will then configure the S3 bucket as a website. On doing so, the S3 bucket will be able to host the static site. Let us now go through each step one by one. The first step is to create a bucket. We have already covered the basics of creating a bucket earlier. We name the bucket as Cloud Workshop Test Website. We will create a simple HTML file. We will embed a sample image file. We now have to upload the created HTML file and the sample image file to the S3 bucket. As everybody will access the HTML file and the image, we need to set the Make Everything Public option. This option is available under Properties for each file. Once the files are uploaded, we require configuring the bucket Cloud Workshop Test Website containing the HTML file and the image as website. We have to also provide the index document as index.html. 